Thank you so much for stopping in. I have another, it's a, uh, this video is about a personal session consultation I had with one of you. And I just, it's really uh, something I thought you would, that would love to share with you. And uh, so I was consulted. It's kind of in, in uh, it also, it's kind of in a relate, in relation to the four point energy portal, four, four point healing portal that we did a while ago. I did that one a few months ago, and then I uh, posted the videos on YouTube, but I originally posted them on Patreon. This is another Patreon patron. And it's not that they're the patron, it's just that these, uh, I, I want you to be aware of, of this stuff, of, of how important your life is. I recall doing something, so you think your life's mundane? Your lives are, your lives are not mundane. You do not have, um, you do not have a, um, a boring existence. <laughs> and I, and I'm doing this so that you, you realize that. Okay. So here, just in general, these, this is, these are the kind of questions that this person had. And I said, I would not use her name. This is a female, um, but it does, it does have, it's similar to the four point healing portal. Um, that we've talked about before. So the questions were basically, I, she, um, she's intuitive and she receives messages. She gets messages primarily through her dreams. And she, first of all, she wants to know um, what, how to go about receiving. She gets it's constant. It's constant. It's constant information coming in. So we talked about rules of engagement. Now I've taught about the rules of engagement with my uh, uh, connecting with your spirit guides, but rules of engagement are very important. So we talked about that. She wanted to know something like, well, the messages that she gets. Um, she says the mess. She finally got um, a name for her master teacher, or we kind of figure it, it. It's probably her balance guide. So we got that. So she kept hearing this this name. She was trying to get name a name. She got the name, and uh, she gets her messages through her dreams, and then throughout the days and nights, she she keeps getting the message: live life as you are. Then she would get the message, do as you do. And she received the message, be the, the light path example. So she's, she's thinking, what do I do? Live life as you are, do as you do, be the light path example. And she's like, I don't understand that. Life is complicated, you know, different things. But what, do, what am I doing? I need, I'd like to know. So that's what she's saying. And then she asked, should I put my earth plane curiosity away and not try to seek the name of my guides? So that was another question. And she gets pretty prophetic dreams. So my question to her was, uh, do you think your dreams are prophetic? She thought so. Yes, she did. But she gets so much information, she doesn't know how to sort it out. And then, um, I said, do you want to continue to receive your messages in the dream state where you don't really remember them fully? Or do you want to start receiving your messages in a controlled fashion, which is you go into a meditative state, however you do it, you get your quiet mind and you receive the messages so you can write them down. You can process them so you know what you're getting. It's not just a dream where you're forgetting something or you think it's a dream. And it's really not a message. I hope that made sense. So. And then I said, what is your goal? And she said, is be in a state to help teach the path. Okay. So then this is what I started receiving. So that was kind of the conversation we had. And we kind of sorted some things out. And then 
uh, universe or spirit guides started, this is the message that I'm going to read to you now. You are, and this is why it's important, and this is why it relates to the four-point healing portal. This is what it says. You are an energetic portal. Not everybody is a portal. Not everybody uh, functions this way. But you all are, in a certain way, providing something for humanity, some kind of energy, either if it's verbal, if it's just being, if it's writing, if it's um, helping. You are an energetic portal available to those who seek comforts in life where there are no burdens, just bliss. It is a higher consciousness attractor to assist in higher attunement to meditative attraction. Your energetic portal allows others who seek clarity, a bliss state, in their meditations in order to achieve levels they have, excuse me, have previously been unable to reach. Specifically, when the person person's desire is to create ways for humanity to rise to their greatest potential individually. In an area they fear to go because of programmed learning, it is difficult to extract oneself from the program. Thus, it is fearful to allow the highest good in themselves. Unless they tap into your energetic portal, then they find the comfort that fully exists within and are able to meditate clearly for reaching the answers to their own path. So they proceed in their physical world and achieve their own particular highest good. That's what, that's the first part. Then they continued. You do not do anything to uphold your energetic portal for others to tap into. They call it tapping into on four four point energy portal or healing portal. They called it tapping in. And they explained in that one that when I am ready to tap in to that energy, that four point energy or this, um, this energy portal, a conscious attractor, I do it. You do it. Everybody individually does it. When we're ready, we find where we can tap into, and that's why they're there. You do not do anything to uphold your energetic portal for others to tap into. The energetic portal is your primary life mission. So her primary life mission is to hold it for humanity. You agreed to be it when planning your current life. There are a low number who are present upon the earth realm who have your same mission. Those who seek find one of you. The energetic portal takes no energy from you. It takes no upkeep by you. It requires none of your attention. The agreement is, it is there, you hold it for others to tap into. You can become an advisor to your energetic portal if you choose to. And she says, oh no, I don't want to do that. This portal access to, this portal access to others is to be activated when you, you, known as her name, allow the access to be opened. Now that you have asked, it will open. So it's up to us also. So neat. So cool. Just so cool the way it works. Because we have been told forever that we have um, free will. And that's what this is saying. Okay, then the last part says this. You need not do anything else specifically. It is already in place, waiting to be activated. You are activating now 
because you are willing. This energetic portal is for all, but more directed to a higher vibrational person who seeks enlightenment to higher vibration resonance, dealing with Akashic records, energy creation, knowledge of soul accomplishments. Others seek. You do not need to know the specifics. You uphold the portal so they can connect and learn, and if they choose, put it into action, such as put into action energy currents held by the earth ground into usable energy to run an engine or a light bulb. And that's where the that transmission ended. Oh, no, it didn't. There's more. Sorry. The next segment says, in order for the higher attuned person to accomplish a meditative state where they can understand and know how to implement the use of energy currents in a normal human setting, that person needs to be comfortable and in a blissful state before their programmed mind will let the program drop away and allow, underline, allow the new knowledge of how to, to come in so the person can understand what they are receiving, what message they are receiving, and in what context the knowledge is to be used. This takes some intense sessions for the person the energetic portal provides the comfort and bliss necessary for the person to open up and receive. That's fantastic. That is absolutely amazing to me. Because when they first started, they said, that's that, that, so they finally explained it. They finally explained what they said earlier, which was, it's available to those who seek comforts in life where there are no burdens, just bliss. It is a higher consciousness activate, act attractor to assist in higher attunement to meditative attraction. Your energetic por portal allows others who want clarity, or what they're saying is a bliss state, in their meditative, in their meditations in order to achieve levels they have previous, previously been unable to reach. Excuse me. That is, and they use the ex example of, of energy. We are so programmed to think the way we think that when you tap into that portal, you get into a, a state where you aren't, where that programming goes away, and then you're, you're able to open to, to receive the information that you want, in this case, about uh, energy. And how uh, energy of you know energy of a light bulb, an engine or a light bulb, for instance. So you can't see the possibility until you put down the programming, which by plugging into that portal, I'm saying I'm like by by plugging into that portal, it gives you that bliss state that you're able to see what how to use, how to create the energy to, 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 to run an engine or to, to let a light bulb light up, for instance. And in her case, um, her picture, I'm just going to do something quick. Her picture was... Uh, like this. Um, a lot of times I get pictures where the, where the, the body is here and they, they resonate out like that. That's, that's most of the time. That's the kind of picture. Well, you know, when they're explaining it to me in, in this case, it was, um, it's energy going out, not touching her. You know, it's not her. It's just her holding up the portal. 
I, I did it in pencil, so I'm doing it in ink right now so it, you can see it easier. And this is the kind of picture that they, um, this is the picture they give. Sorry. There, you can kind of see it better. Where the energy is pulsating out, not touching her, and available to you to, to grab, to, to plug into, to, to be attractive. So when, when you, the, one of the points is, so it answered all of her questions. What does, what, I mean, live life as you are. I mean, that is a kind of like, if I, I mean, when you get that kind of message, you're like, well, what, what does that mean? Or do as you do, be the light path example that answered it, that answered all of her questions. Because what does do as you do mean? Well, she holds the portal that you can tap into for that particular reason. There's not a lot of people that do it, but there are other portals. I mean, it, it, all kinds of things are we have access to. We just don't know it. So to do as you've been, do, as you do, do as you do. Well, what she's doing is she is uh, present upon the earth realm to have the portal available to you. She doesn't do anything about it. She just agreed to take care of it, to be it, to, to have it, and have it accessible to everybody. She can access it herself. So that's what that means. So it answered, completely answered her question. And then she can share it if she wants to. You know, it said that you can be, you can, you can become an advisor to your energetic portal. If, you, if she chooses to, if she wants to, she doesn't have to, it's there. It's there for you to tap into when you or anybody, when anybody wants that, intuitively, you know it. You don't necessarily say it out loud, people, but intuitively and instinctual, instinctively, you kind of get to the point where you tap into it, not necessarily knowing it, but that's why it's there. That's why it's there. It's for us to tap into. If we think about it, if it's something that's along our life path, I just thought that was really interesting for me to share with you because if you think your life is ordinary or mundane or anything like that, it's not. This just happens to be one story. And I thought it was important to share it with you because your life isn't ordinary at all. And the other thing is we know that we can tap into a lot of different things that uh, just a lot of different we can tap in. Wait, there are there's everything's available for us when we're ready to tap into it. That's what it is. Thank you so much for stopping in. Stay tuned because there's a lot more to come. <laughs>